In the previous video, we understood two things about intents, training phrases and responses. And we have altered our response to this single response. Hi, how can I help you? There are few other things like context. We will understand context in later videos, but context governs the conversation from one step to the next step. Then there are in then there is action and parameters. When we will work with entities, we will look into action and parameters. Then final step is fulfillment. So whenever we want to extract data from external sources like database or another APIs, in that context, we will work on fulfillment. There is this event. So this event is kind of events that lets you know which kind of event triggered. And this particular thing helps with the platform like Facebook Messenger, Instagram or uh, Telegram to let the Telegram or Instagram or Facebook know that this event is triggered. We will not use events in any of our video and it is a kind of a advanced concept but it's not that much great or useful that you should be worried about so i think this is it from the intense part we have context that control the conversation flow training phrases are the sample training phrases that classify the intent then we have action and parameters. We will look into it when we understand entities. We have responses. We write responses here whenever the intent is triggered. So this response. Then fulfillment is when you want to use external data sources. Let me save this. There is one last thing though, which is default fallback intent. Let's say you have 500 intents, but user user's query doesn't classify into any of the 500 intents. Then it will go to default fallback intent. This default fallback intent looks same as regular intent, but it doesn't have any training phrases. However, you can provide some negative examples here and you can provide your responses as well. Also, you can use uh, default fallback intent to go to your custom webhook and get the response. So I think this is it from the intents part. In the next part, we will look into entities.